Hey guys, so I've got another tutorial which is a follow on for the horror series that I've been doing and I've left this for a little bit of time whilst I've got some things together and maybe people can offer me some suggestions in the comments on what things they'd like to see you know, if any at all for, you know, the, the next part for the horror game. So a lot of people did suggest that they wanted sort of hiding mechanics. Now, as, as always with my tutorials, it's going to be fairly simple and straightforward and, you know, can be used and created and modified however you like to use them. So it's going to be similar to a game like, I suppose, like Outlast, I think, where you can hide in um, a cupboard, a closet. I don't know. I haven't really played it that much. But you've got the simple idea that here in my Unity scene, I've got what you might call a cupboard, but it's just a few cubes that look brown. And I've got a camera inside there. So you can see, if you can see my camera preview here, you can see that I'm just looking out of this hole. So all I've done is build a cupboard style shape within Unity and put the camera inside so it looks just out. And what I've done is I've named that camera hide so we can reference that in the script in a little bit. So that's really all you need. You need just your cupboard um, object with a new camera. So we're going to switch to that camera and then we're going to do some things to be able to do that. So what we're going to start off by doing is creating a JavaScript file. And we'll call this hide or whatever you'd want to call it. Now you want to open up this and want to develop. And once we've got that I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'll delete these two functions and start by writing variable main camera as type camera and variable hiding camera as type camera. And then we'll say, um, write variable ray length equal to 10. Then we'll start by writing function start, open up the brackets, add two curly brackets below, and in there we'll say main camera dot camera dot enabled equals true, and then hiding camera dot camera dot enabled equals false. So all we're doing there is making sure that the main camera of which is on our FPS controller is the one we're going to see at the beginning of the game, so we don't have any issues. So what we're going to be doing before, like with a lot of tutorials that I've done, we're going to be writing a raycast, and a raycast is a really good way to, um, you know, manage to show GUIs and things like that when you're in a certain range. So we'll start off by writing function update, add your two brackets, then your two curly brackets below. We'll say variable hit colon raycast hit with a semicolon. Then we'll say variable fwd for forward equals transform dot transform direction open brackets vector 3 dot forward close that up and add a semicolon then below there we'll say if physics dot raycast open brackets transform dot position comma forward, comma hit, comma ray length, close that up with two um, brackets and then in there we'll add two curly brackets below then we'll say if open brackets hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to hide and and is hiding and and is hiding is equal to false and one thing I did actually forget at the top is that we're gonna need some um, that boolean or two more booleans to actually be able to detect when we're hiding and when we're not so we'll write another variable called is hiding and set that as type boolean equal to false And then I'll add a private variable called GUI show. Set that as type boolean equal to false as well. Back down at where we'd say is hiding is equal to false. We actually want to close that up with a bracket, not a semicolon. Then what we want to do is add two curly brackets in here. 
and actually this has changed to hierarchy type but I just want hit sometimes this changes it then in these two curly brackets here we want to say that GUI show is equal to true then we'll say if input dot get key down open brackets in quotes e close those two brackets up then below here inside another two curly brackets we'll write a little note saying disable player so we remember what we're actually doing then we'll say game object dot find open brackets in quotes first person controller close that up with um, a quote and then a bracket and then say dot get component open brackets FPS input controller dot enabled equals false and then we'll say as well game object dot find open brackets graphics close that up dot get component open brackets mesh renderer close that up dot enabled equals false you can obviously delete that little graphics capsule from the FPS controller but I'm just showing you how you can disable it then we want to make sure that because we've pressed E to go inside the hiding spot we want to actually um, change cameras so I'll add another note for change cameras and then what we'll do is like we did up here I'll just copy these two lines paste them in and then oh, we will say that main camera is equal to false and hiding camera is equal to true and then what we're going to do is we're going to need to be able to wait a certain amount of time before we can exit um, this cupboard again because sometimes I've got a little bit of a a funny error so we're just going to write another function called wait add two brackets after it and add a semicolon on the almost the last curly bracket we've got with second to last curly bracket you can see it by it's um, attached to this one up here we'll add a couple of line breaks I'll just zoom out a little bit so we can see it then what we're going to write is else and then we'll add two curly brackets below there and say GUI show is equal to false because once we're inside it we don't want to be able to show the GUI and we'll create that GUI at the end now underneath there what we'll do is also we're gonna add another if statement for when we're actually inside um, or we're actually hiding so we want to be able to exit the hiding step so we'll say if is hiding is equal to true then what we'll do is we'll say that if like before input dot get key down open brackets and then in quotes e close that up twice add two curly brackets below and what we're going to do is essentially just copy this again here then what we're going to do is paste it in and I'll just make sure I shunt those up and what we're going to do is now make the things that we set to false now true because we're going to be able to take control of our player again and then we're going to make sure that the main camera is equal to true and the hiding camera is equal to false because we want to be able to do everything we could before whilst running around and then under here we'll say that is hiding is then equal to false because we're not hiding anymore now like I said before we had a function that we call um, created that was called wait so after the, all of the um, curly brackets that we've got now um, what we want to do is create a function call this wait and then add you two brackets add two curly brackets below we'll, and then in there we'll say yield wait for seconds then open brackets add 0 0.5 close that up put a semicolon then we'll say is hiding is equal to true and GUI show is equal to 
false. So what's going to happen is that we'll detect the ray cast and if we press E and we're in the range and the tag of the object that we're looking at is called hide we'll disable the player elements and then switch cameras so it looks like we're hiding but just so that we can then press this um, button again and it not mess up and never let us hide we just want to wait a couple of seconds and then say I mean wait half a second and then say that we are hiding and for half a second you don't even notice it so it's not really an issue so one last part of this is we're going to write a GUI function so function on GUI open two brackets up then two curly brackets below and we'll say that if GUI show is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets below and we'll say that GUI dot box open brackets rect open bracket again screen dot width divided by two comma screen dot height divided by two comma one hundred comma twenty five close that bracket put a comma then in quotes we'll say hide inside with a question mark and we'll close that bracket and add a semicolon so that's just showing a GUI which should be remotely centered in the screen um, so that's pretty much it for the script one thing in the rare cast if you may have seen me write it that needs to be a lowercase t so now if we go back into unity and what we need to make sure that we do is that I've got a cupboard object and my cupboard object is just the parent object so everything else along with the camera and all the um, cubes are with inside that actual parent object um, and I've made sure I've got a box collider over it all so we can't walk through it and then I've got a tag called hide and once you make sure that you've got those things set up on your main camera for your player you can add the hide script and you can see that we need to add the main camera and the hiding camera so we'll add the main camera to the main camera slot and then the camera hide oop, to the other slot and then we can leave everything the same and then what we'll do is we'll press play and we'll walk up to our cupboard and it'll say do you want to hide inside we'll press E and then we'll hide inside obviously if you want to look around whilst you're in this place you'll have to add a mouse look component so you can just go component um, camera control and mouse look and you can add that mouse look to your actual hiding camera so you'll be able to look around and obviously you can limit looking up and down left and right and then what you can do if you press E again you'll be outside of the actual object and you can run around and do whatever you need to do so there you go there you have it there's a sort of simple way of doing a hiding mechanic and as ever thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers